Hi, I'm Adam Jarks from Citrix and welcome to a series of videos about the Citrix receiver for Android. In today's video, what I'm going to do is show you how to install the Citrix receiver and show you how to use it. So let's get started. To install the latest version of the Citrix receiver for Android, it's as easy as navigating to the Android market on your device and searching for Citrix. Once you've found the Citrix receiver, select it for more information. Here you'll find a brief description along with some screenshots of the receiver up and running. Select Install to download and install the Citrix receiver for Android on your device. The next screen will inform you that the Citrix receiver for Android may wish to copy data to and from any SD card that may be installed, and that the Citrix receiver will also need network access. Tap OK to continue. After a short period of time, you'll notice that the Citrix receiver icon is available to you. Tap it to get started. The first screen allows you to configure the details of your account. From here it's also possible to create a demo account, but we'll save this for a future video in the series. The Add Account screen is where I need to type the address of the server running my Zenapp Services site, along with my username, domain and description of the account. It's possible to add multiple accounts to the Citrix receiver for Android, as well as editing existing account settings. To edit an existing account, tap and hold the account in the list and then select Edit Account. To connect, simply tap the account, enter your password if necessary and you'll be presented with a list of your applications. Sometimes having a long list of many applications can be a little cumbersome, so we've created a simple way of creating your own favourites list. By simply doing a tap and hold on the application, a list of actions will open where you can open the application, add it to your favourites list, or create a shortcut to a specific application on your home screen. We'll select Add to Favourites. You can see that a star has been placed next to Microsoft Excel, which means that it's been marked as a favourite and is now available from the favourites list. Another list that's available on the Citrix receiver for Android is the Featured list. This is a list of applications that the administrator has flagged specifically as a featured application and probably as an application that's important for you. Administrators can publish featured applications by adding the string keywords colon featured in the application description whilst publishing. OK, let's take a look at one more of those application options and let's create an easily accessible shortcut to PowerPoint on the home screen. Now that the shortcut is created, let's go back to the home screen and take a look. The Citrix receiver for Android gives you vast flexibility when it comes to customising your session options. The display menu allows for the adjustment of the application resolution, as well as initial position options, and the ability to keep the phone awake whilst you're using an application. The session menu provides a couple of session settings, such as allowing the ability for an SD card to be mapped as local storage to an application. The keyboard menu allows you to configure a custom keyboard which is added to the keyboard that Android provides you with. The receiver has the ability to present you with extra keys that may be useful from within a Windows application, and these can be individually switched on and off. Thanks for watching this introductory video on installing and configuring the Citrix receiver for Android. For more information about the Citrix receiver for Android, visit www.citrix.com forward slash Android.